In this video, I wanted to uh, show you how to do the, um, uh, the grading of the homework or really centering it in the morning. On the Mac, I believe uh, if you go up here to where I have Infinite Campus, I think I just have it listed as IC, but it'll have that little green symbol there. So just go ahead and click on that and you'll automatically be logged in through uh, my password program. Go over to the little grid this here, in between the bell and the question mark, click on that. Click on Campus Instruction. This will take you over to Gradebook. Click on this little box over here and you'll go up to Homeroom, it's the one that's right on top. And you won't see anything come up until you click the side panel over here. And you'll see it'll say complete assignments on time. And then all of a sudden uh, you can do it. So you'll see here that I have a bunch of uh, items already on here. And this is how I keep track of their homework. And I'll show you what we're going to do. So here is 5-6. I'm going to make another one. I'll just make one. 5-7. Uh, there actually is no 5-7, but I'm just going to make one up. So to add uh, homework in the morning, you just click Add. And I'm going to put it down here, 5-7. So you have to give it a name. And I'm just going to put extra, because there is really no 5-7, but I'm just going to make one up. And down here at the abbreviation, that's the one that's going to show as you're looking at the grid up top, and that's going to be 5-7. Go down here a little bit, and once again, you're going to come to a, a, a box that won't be grayed out, and it's going to say complete assignments on time. The only thing I have in here is homework, and you go over to points, and then you can see two boxes over here. Over here, you put four because our grading system goes from 1 through 4. Then if you hit score, it'll save the settings in here and it'll take you over here. It'll show you all the kids. So as you see the kids, you just kind of put things in here. Um, say if uh, Dewan turns his in, uh, you're not going to give him a grade now, but what you can do is you're going to mark down that they did get turned in. And if Diana didn't, I could always mark her as missing. I usually go through all of the T's, and then whoever isn't done, I'll double-check the papers, and then I'll mark them missing. If I give a student back a paper, I mark them usually missing, and then I hit I for incomplete. Same thing, so if all these students turn theirs in, like I said, go back over and wherever you don't see anything as as T for turned in, you mark them as missing. Or if, like I said, if they give you the homework and you handed it back to them, you mark it as missing and incomplete. Otherwise, you hit it as turned in and you don't get a grade, it's going to give them credit, but they didn't turn in the paperwork, and a lot of the kids will do that. They'll, they'll take back the papers, you'll never see it again. They're they're too concerned about going outside and playing. When you get everybody done, all 32 students, uh, go ahead and hit save. Then it will appear. I'm not going to save this because this one doesn't exist. But you'll hit save and then finally when it'll say save, the little box over here will show up. And then as soon as you're done, you'll hit close. You can say it's okay, leave the page. I don't know if the Apple doesn't usually show that. So here's the one that I did for Friday's homework. I haven't graded their homework yet. So I'm going to take this one over here. I'm going to kill it. And if, so if you make a mistake, all you have to do is go over here and delete it like this. Okay. And you will now see that that one will be deleted, the one that we just made, 5-7. So here's my 5-6 that I had on Friday. You double-click on it, and if you want to enter grades, and you hit, once again, you hit score. And you can see here all the students that turned one in. 
Um, Yulima turned hers in, but it was incomplete. Uh, so if the kids turn, miss a lot of questions on there, I put it incomplete. If a kid's in the classroom, I usually ask him if it's missing, why is it missing? And he'll just say, he, I lost it. And he's already given me three stories about that. This is one of the kids you're going to be looking for is Matthew. Don't worry about this. This is something that I just started putting on there. I gave the parents my cell phone number, and if they have questions, they can call me. So, But the parents will never check the uh, Infinite Campus portal. We already know that. Uh, see here, it'll always say, like, this person was unexcused absence. So we already know that he's going to have missing homework. So, I, like I said, you just, if it's not marked as turned in, it, it is missing. And like I said, when you're done, if you want, if you can grade it, one through four is uh, you're only gonna be able to put one through four in here. And then when you're done, you hit save. I'm just gonna hit close right now. That's it. It's pretty easy. If you get confused, give me a call. My cell phone number was on the screen back there, or you probably already have my cell phone number or my house number. But give me a call if you get confused. And hopefully that uh, explained it pretty good.